Hello everybody, my name is Fluxus and I come from a channel called SND for Dummies and the objective of my channel is to improve the search and destroy community one player at a time. Sam or XJaws asked me to do a tutorial for you guys for search and destroy on the new map zoo so that's exactly what's about to happen. Let's first look on how to defend bombsite B as we're going to be starting on defense here. Now main, mainly your enemies are going to be coming up to the canyon right so what I would like to do is go up to this building here and it gives you all the necessary vantage points to take out any targets that will be running up to the bomb site. Alrighty, let's move on to the middle, another very important spot as I will detail in a little bit. Basically, your main objective here is to stop anyone running up the path, especially in the beginning, and also manage that window. We're moving right along, we're going to go ahead and defend A, two main spots. The first one is the monorail here, which is an easy access from the middle. Great vantage points for all three choke points, but maybe if you're more of a run and gun guy, we have Excellent spots down here in the trench, pretty much works anywhere, and I'm not going to detail the same spots, just your main objective here is going to be focusing on stopping that wood path, which seems to be a pretty popular route, at least right now. Alright, to tie it all in together, basically the general overview is you're going to be seeing two separate battles fought on this map on defense. So what you need to do is hold down that middle and force your enemies into their spawn and make them camp on offense. Now let's get into some gameplay for you guys. Alright, I will be sniping this whole game. And I do want to say, first and foremost, I am not a sniper. I recently decided to give sniping a, uh, a newborn chance <laughs> because of the recent patch, which definitely improved the sniper rifles. But if I miss a few shots here and there, you know, give me a break because I don't really snipe that much. I can tell you right now, there will be no quick scoping, no no scoping. My objective is to win the match and go positive and do those by as much as I can as possible. So that's kind of how I play. Alright, now I will be using the sniper rifle to my advantage, but I'm also going to give you general gameplay tips, search and destroy specific advice, um, especially for this map. So right now you're just seeing me work that middle area in the monorail, and I think that, that this spot here is definitely going to be something that is very advantageous to you um, if you want to get kills and stop those opening routes. Most of the enemies are going to go to your right, either up the middle or A, and I highly recommend shutting down the middle before you go to A, because as you saw those guys tried to run up the middle and that is a big no-no for offense and we'll get there earlier but or later I'm sorry but later yeah that is a big no-no and if, if that's basically free kills if they're gonna be trying to run up the middle now I do stun myself there which is uh, embarrassing <laughs> there's only two fails in this video and that's one of them um, now what you saw me do is flank behind them because I know that they're kinda of moving their way up to B already and this map is very similar to carnival I feel like I think a lot of people think that, where you basically have, again, two separate battles going on, um, and bridging the gap between each battle means you have to run through the middle or through the back of the spawn. Now, something you're going to see me do here is vary my route, or vary my spot. This is key to being successful in Search and Destroy. People who run the same routes, the same game, all the time are predictable and easy to kill for any average player. So, by, by varying your spots, you're going to become unpredictable and it's going to assist you very very much now again I am playing the sniper rifle style if I was running a shotgun or an SMG um, or maybe even an assault rifle I would definitely be more aggressive but I have limitations as a sniper right I I can't do everything that I want to do because I have an extreme extremely long range weapon right and an extremely close range weapon in that of the akimbo I'm, not, I'm sorry not the akimbo the dual CZ 75s so basically, I have to manage my my advantages as best to I can. Now, again, here a fail. I was playing kind of scared, but also kind of safe, and I missed my shot. And unfortunately, I didn't get the kill, but better that because then I can keep my kill streak. So I don't know if that's a fail or not. You can decide. All right, guys, let's move into the last round of offense. And yes, this is a seven-round game. Okay, that is why the video is kind of on the long side. But regardless, you're going to see me again shut down the middle. Like I said, force the enemies to the outside of this map. Okay, that is where you're going to see the success on defense. And if once they go to those outsides, those are not the best routes. The best routes for the offense are going to be penetrating up the middle. So what you want to do is definitely shut that off, and then you can migrate to the outsides of the map and use your weapon, whatever it may be, to your advantage. Now let's talk about Zoo in general. One thing I love about Zoo, okay, it is very quiet. So if you're like me and you're a big headset whore, <laughs> which I'm hoping many of you are if you play Search a lot, 
This map is excellent. It's not like Kowloon where the rain is pounding and pounding, you know. This map is quiet. You can hear everything. It's amazing. I love the quietness of the map. All right. Now we had some confusion there and who was going to defuse the bomb and we almost lost it. But uh don't worry. I got it. So that's the first half of the match. I'd like to move to the offensive strategy of the map map now and we'll get into that right now. All righty. So, how to attack bomb site B? If you are running a CQC or a close quarters combat weapon, I'm going to have you run up to the middle here and underground into B, and we'll get into that a little bit later. If you are using the long range style, I highly recommend going to the outside, and we'll cover this in depth more in a bit, but basically these routes counter towards your um, weapon style. So if you're running the shotgun, stay in close. If you're running the sniper, stay outside. Now for the shotgun route or the SMG route, you're going to run through the arches and then into this greenhouse. Once you find this once you go into this greenhouse, you're going to find a latch to the right. Go down that latch into the other ground, and you will end up right at the bomb site at B. Very safe route and very excellent route for close quarters. Now, as far as the long range route, do not, please do not go up to the terrace in the canyons, okay? That is an obvious spot, and the enemy can see you before. So instead, keep your route going to the outside, please, 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 and just migrate. And what you're going to end up seeing is something similar to this where the main two offense or defensive positions is going to be the ledge and then their elevated building so by coming out here if you have an assault rifle or, or a sniper you're going to have excellent excellent chance at countering those popular defensive positions alright let's move on how to attack bomb site A so the first route to the left here is the AR sniper LMG route again staying towards the outside of the map using your sight lines now the shotgun SMG route is a more direct route and it also leads you right into the fray. So basically, again, the main idea is to use your weapons to your advantage and stay in places where your weapons are going to give you the advantage. Now the reason you come out here for the long range uh, style is because you are going to have a great chance to preliminary um, uh, battle here and you're going to be able to pave the way for your SMG buddies who are going to be running and getting in the fray, right? I'm not going to highlight anything here really except for the fact that it's in front of you and this is where you're going to want to be if you got the shotgun or the SMG rather than on the elevated positions, right? Okay, if I may, I would like to get into the offensive gameplay of this match and yes, this is all one match in case you haven't figured out. Now I do use the sniper again for the whole time, I'm just repeating that, okay, but regardless, there's still a lot of stuff going on um, that has nothing to do with the sniper. I do miss a shot here, forgive me. But you're going to see me basically just doing what I just asked you to do. Take that outside route and kind of use your weapon style to your advantage. If I use a shotgun on this map, I always take that underground route at least to start. And it, it's, it's very rewarding, that route. So once you find that underground route, and if you need to go ahead and go back and review it, it's, it's a great route. And we're just kind of working our way up. No one's on those popular defensive positions, so right now I have to clutch it. Okay, it's 1v3. There's one down. All right. Now, you're going to see me see the guy right here coming to try and punish me for shooting with an unsilenced weapon. So what I do is something very unconventional. I just calm down. Because anywhere in this back area here is all very close quarters. I can't manage that. I've got a sniper and two CZs. So I'm just going to lay and wait. Sometimes waiting is the best thing that you can do. When you're running around, you may be constantly putting yourself in danger. But when you stop your movement and people are looking for you, they probably will just run out right in front of you, right? So, I mean, that's something that you have to be able to do in Search and Destroy, and obviously any other game mode, is manage your weapon style the best that you can and create the most advantageous situations for you. Now, I ran away from the bomb there because I heard him running up on me. I'd like to talk about headset just for a moment. Obviously, a headset is always recommended, but if you are going to be playing Search and Destroy the most out of any other game mode, that <laughs> need for the headset goes up tenfold. Search and Destroy is a quiet game mode. It's not like Domination or Headquarters where everything is exploding all the time. You know, it is, it is a game mode where you can hear everything and little bits of information from sound often mean life or death. Okay, now something you're going to see me do right now is a trademark of my channel. It's called a bomb angle. Basically what you do is it's an offensive strategy. You plant the bomb, okay, and then you go to a far away location where you can see the bomb. Now what you'll notice is when the defense is trying to defuse the bomb, they're always going to look in the general area of the bomb site because that's where most people sit, right? So by using a bomb angle, you have an excellent 
line of view, and <laughs> you can just laugh at the guy who's trying to look for you in all the corners and then pick him off when they try and defuse. And it can work for multiple people. Because you're so far away, you're pretty safe. Alright, let's keep go keep on rolling. Now this round, not, not, not our best round. <laughs> um, we basically get rushed, and I try to move this way, but I can feel the pressure coming on, and the enemy does a very good job of putting the pressure on us, in fact, changing momentum, and we just get completely rushed, and I wasn't really able to do anything. Um, I do still get two kills, as you'll see here in a sec, but this round's pretty much a, a flop. Just a complete breakdown in strategy. And I do want to talk about a little specific skill here. Right now, I might as well. Um, you'll see me whenever I pull out my sniper rifle. I always double tap Y or triangle if you're on PlayStation. See it right there? Okay, that is because it makes your sniper rifle come out two times, almost three times as faster, and you'll be able to pull up the scope so much faster. If you are going to be a sniper, it is absolutely 100%... 100%. I, I don't even I don't even know what, what word I'm looking for right now, but it is basically not an option. You have to double tap Y every single time your sniper comes out. Okay, you're gonna see it right here. Oh wow, I didn't do it. That's that is a mess up. That is a very rare moment for me. Um, but you will see it again when I change weapons. And right now, all I'm going to do is hold down the back area for my team. Now, I'd like to take this moment to just tell you guys a little bit more about my channel and what we do. Basically, we have tactical videos that we produce. Um, which I teach you a certain skill um, that I, I feel is important for Search and Destroy. We have map analysis videos where I go really in-depth to a map similar to this, um, but a little bit more robust. We have contests, which are free to enter, and there's always a prize for our contests. And we also have a, a series called Building the S&D Mind, where I get a good gameplay, and I talk about what I was thinking and break down key situations. Now, that was definitely a screw-up. Me and Josh let that guy defuse the bomb, and that was kind of his fault, I gotta say. Um, <laughs> we we didn't really communicate there, but he said he was going to get him, and then I came over, and I don't know, whatever. Regardless, we are going to 3-3, the big 7th round match. And this is the key match here. And I was going to change weapons because I wanted to win, but I decided to stay with it. I get a hit marker on that guy through the wall, which is heartbreaking. Um, but regardless, that's that's how how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Now I want to tell you something about this monorail spot. I absolutely love this monorail spot because I don't have to expose myself to defend the bomb as you saw. It is an amazing little spot as long as you can maintain the discipline and not go out in the open. Okay. Now, this match is coming to a close and I would just like to thank XJaws or Sam, depending on how you know him, for uploading this and approaching me and giving me this opportunity to expand and provide um, information that you may or may not want to use for a very large audience. So props to you, sir. I really appreciate that. Guys, if you are a search and destroy enthusiast or you're just a beginner or you hate search and destroy but you want to learn how to play it or you don't hate search and destroy and you want to learn how to play it, I think that if you come over to our channel, subscribe, you will not be disappointed. I have a big, big, um, big want, I guess, to target people who maybe aren't the best search players or just don't like the game mode but want to get better. So that's that's kind of where I'm at. Okay, again, a big thank you to Sam or XJaws for uploading this. I've gone 17-2 and two after 7 rounds and subscribe to S&D for Dummies. Thank you.